Good morning, guys. Clock is like 1.30 p.m. and I just got up heading for work soon and uh, just chilling on the couch watching ghost shows basically. And uh, Kenny sent me a message and asked if I could uh, could uh, <clears throat> bring him some cigarettes. So I'm gonna bring him some smokes and. Uh, yeah, just gotta get dressed. Oh. Oh. Once again, snow has come to Norway. And uh, I think that kind of sucks because it's been so good metal detecting weather lately. But uh, I guess that's just the way it is. And... Um, I'm just gonna have to find my keys. I'm gonna drive to work now, and uh, then I'm gonna, or first I have to buy cigarettes for Kenny, and then I'm going to work. So, oh, oh, I hate it when it's snow on my window. Well, snow is better than ice though. Ice sucks even worse. But uh, oh, that's Norway for you. We can have snow in June. Hopefully, though, know, we get a warm spring and a warm summer. The weather outside is shitty. I'm on a ferry to the city. I hope it don't continue to snow. I hate snow. Oh fuck, snow! It's too cold. I'm guessing that uh, today is going to be a long day at work, but I only have five hours of work and uh, after that I have a holiday week, so uh, that's going to be awesome. I have uh, eight days of vacation and uh, I'm going to use it well. I'm going to film a lot for you guys and uh, hopefully it doesn't snow too much because you know I get depressed when it snows I hate it it's cold it's wet uh, slippery nothing good comes with snow except snowmen and yeah, that's about it the women can wear more clothes Nothing good comes with winter, except snowmen. Snowmen, bringing joy to children for centuries. Well, Norway is a shitty place if you don't like snow. <laughs> it's like hating sun living in Sahara. I guess I'm gonna move someday, hopefully. America, I hope. Maybe England. I wanna go somewhere where it's warmer, but though I know England got snow, but England also have so many cool places uh, and so much history. You can find a lot of cool stuff in England. Uh, is it sensitive? Sensitive? The, cam the sound of the. Uh, yeah, I can uh, hear a lot better now than before. Like uh, the music in the background, it's. Uh, not, it's not good for the copyright, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't think it can uh, hear that well. This microphone uh, is made to take up voices, so it doesn't take up the music as loud as the... Oh. So... Finally, the day is here. I'm uh, going off for my vacation. Now I've been at work for... A long time it's been uh, a few months actually since my last vacation so uh, 
I'm really, really, really looking forward to just having some days to myself. And now I'm on my way to uh, Rust, and there I'm gonna pick up Doris because uh, Freddy are going to, uh, yeah, in uh, in Norway they have something called Konformation, uh, which means um, it's kind of uh, when you acknowledge your uh, Christian faith if you're Christian that is um, so when they're 15 or 16 years old they uh, they kind of choose to be a Christian or not to be a Christian in uh, Norway it's been really a normal thing to do to like acknowledge your Christianity um, but the later, the last like 10 or 15 years, it's been more and more ordinary to have a civil confirmation kind of uh, where they can uh, where they can do basically the same thing. It's like a, it's kind of like Sweet 16, so it's like a rite of passage or something like that. But um, in Norway, when uh, when you uh, get confirmed, we uh, give people money and we have like a party for them. And uh, people or kids get a lot of money. And uh, it's like maybe the time of their life where they get the most money in one sitting. <laughs> Norway is maybe one of the countries in the world with the most atheists. And um, I'm an almost an atheist I believe that there's something more I'm spiritual I'm not religious kind of and uh, many people in Norway are like that you know, written up as a member of the church but they never go there and um, there's really small communities with Christian people as well as basically every other religion but uh, in Norway we we don't have as many Christians or you know, there's always like the extremists that are really religious and then you have like 90% of the people in Norway are not religious or yeah, at least not enough to go to church on Sundays. We go to church if we, uh, if somebody is going to be baptized or uh, confirmed or uh, for weddings basically. And other than that, we're never in church. And uh, it's been that way for years and years. So, um, but now a lot of teens uh, choose to have a civil uh, confirmation so they can uh, get money, but don't have to say that they're Christians. Where stories? Hi Doris! Hi! Hi Doris! Hi! I got my mic, uh, Friday. Oi! So now I have a condenser mic for, uh, for Android. And that kind of rocks. All green and lush down here, but uh, where I live in the mountains, it's white. Ugh, I hate this bloody country. Good. Oh, I screwed up. I want to know if you're going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Now me and Doris is just going to relax in the couch watching uh, something on the TV and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and watch the copyrights. See you guys.